brings us to our first concert of the tour at the Washington Center for the Arts, Olympia, Washington. We heard through a friend of a friend about a guy named Will Padilla Brown, who's doing some very interesting work in cordyceps cultivation. My name is William Padilla Brown. I'm a permaculture designer. I'm certified in permaculture design science where we utilize nature. Biomimicry is our main tool, mimicking nature, mimicking life to create systems, whether it be social systems or agricultural systems or, you know, business systems. Stuck up into your basket, so I'm always kind of just looking, observing, taking in, and figuring out how I can, you know, sample the different things that I've learned into creating more effective systems. Cordyceps are an entomopathogenic fungi, and that means that they eat insects. They're incredibly medicinal for humans. Um, the, the, in the ways that they may be detrimental to an insect, some of the compounds that they're producing to engage or interact with those insects um, have proven to be medicinally beneficial for humans. Are you caught off guard? Cause I'm called classic. Oh my god, if I got passion. Cordyceps militaris that I grow are these little orange mushrooms that grow in nature on moth pupa. And a lot of people use them for energy. A lot of people use them for, you know, they can increase the oxygen in your blood up by 20%. So it's really, really nice for working out, doing sports. Cordyceps has means of protecting our DNA, but then it makes you like, like gives you aphrodisiac effects. So it's like, here, your DNA's healthy. Like now pass it on. <laughs> Whenever I was learning about cordyceps cultivation, there was a couple things that were that was different about how they were doing it in the Asian countries than how we do it here. One is how they keep their cultures alive because cordyceps cultures get old and die out very quickly. I'm usually within a year. I developed a whole new breeding methodology myself here based off of a research paper that I read from Korea. I looked at the nutritional profiles of the different ingredients they were putting in, and then I was like, well, cordyceps grow in the insect in the wild, and I had a friend that had a certified organic cricket farm for human consumption in Youngston, Ohio. I mean, I messaged him and asked him for the nutritional profiles on his insects, and then I started looking at different ingredients that could reach those same nutritional profiles of the insects and of the things that they were putting into their ingredients. So I had to figure out how to grow from general things you could get at a grocery store. So that's been really interesting, and you know, the more I look at cordyceps, the more I learn. So that gives me a lot of inspiration to continue working with that to give me something to do with my life. 